Okay, so in chapter two, uh, we sort of learned the um, we sort of learned the theory behind derivatives, and then in chapter three, we basically just focused on some uh, practical sort of tricks that that were going to allow you to find the derivative uh, fairly easily, and so then uh, chapter four kind of blends those and starts to sort of look at useful things you can do with calculus. And so to start off with, I think that um, I'm going to use calculus to find the vertex of a parabola because this is something that when I work with kids in like geometry or algebra 2 or something like that and they're asked to find the vertex of a parabola algebraically, it drives me nuts because I know an easier way. I know a much easier way. Okay, so what the key thing that we have to understand is that, um, let's put a couple stars on that. Okay, so let's start off with that. When the slope of a function is zero, it generally has a maximum or a minimum. The vertex of a parabola is either a maximum or a minimum. And The derivative of a function finds the slope of a function. Okay, so what this really means is it's pretty simple. Uh, find the derivative of a quadratic function set it equal to zero. There's the x value of your vertex. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to say, what's the derivative? <clears throat> Here's my, so if you just look at this, you know, some of you have hit pause already and, they, and you've determined what the vertex of this is uh, not using calculus but it's trivially simple to use calculus and you know way way takes way less time than it takes me to uh, state it in a video okay so all I gotta do is just take the derivative of that that's that's some parabola I'm not gonna graph it right now but all I gotta do is take the derivative of it well what's the derivative of 3x squared well it's 6x what's the derivative of minus 12x it's minus 12 What's the derivative of minus 5? It's 0. So this is the graph of my derivative. So uh, let me do this. Find where 6x minus 12 equals 0. Well, that's when x equals 2. Now plug x equals 2 into the original function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 2 here and I'm going to get 3 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 minus 2 times 12 so it's minus 24. I'm now at minus 12. Minus 5 makes me in minus 17. So y equals minus 17. So my vertex is at 2 comma negative 17 and then if I want to know um, now 
it's pretty easy to tell that this is opening up because the x squared term is positive. So if the x squared term is positive, it's opening up. If the x squared term is negative, it's opening down. But to you, so we don't really need calculus, but I'll show you. If we take the second derivative, so the derivative of the derivative, y equals 6x minus 12, well, the derivative of that is just what? It's just 6. And so, uh, the second derivative in this case is always positive, so the function makes a smiley face and opens up. All right, let's zoom out and get some scaling here. The blue is the uh, the blue is the concavity. I'm going to turn that off. The red line says that the slope is positive right there. The slope is negative right there and the slope is zero right there. And if I look, well there we go. Where the slope, where the slope function y equals 6x minus 12 is zero, that's where I've got a minimum. And if I click on that, it gives me another little click. And that is the point 2, negative 17. Okay? So once again, just coming up with uh, any, old, uh, any old quadratic function that I can think of, uh, minus 12.3x squared um, plus 4.5x minus uh, 2. Okay, well looks like that might be kind of daunting. But I just take the derivative of that, and so I get negative 26.6, 23.6x plus 4.5. And then I jam up my calculator, and I find where that is. So I do, uh, well, I don't even need my calculator. So then I'm just going to go, if I set that equal to 0, I'm going to get uh, 4.5 divided by 23.6 is 0 0.190678. And then I'm going to do minus 12.3 times um, 4.5. I'm just going to do it this way. So what I'm doing is I'm just plugging where, I'm taking where the derivative equals 0, that's 20, 24.6, I got to be able to multiply or I'm not going to get anywhere in life, that's 24.6, that's 24.6, so that's 24.6 and that's 24.6 minus 2. Okay, so what that's telling me is that my vertex is at uh, 0 0.182927 comma negative 1.58841. And so I haven't had to do any factoring whatsoever. I just take the derivative of I just take the derivative of the quadratic equation, set it equal to zero, it gives me the x coordinate. I take that x coordinate, plug it back into the original equation, it gives me my y coordinate. I graph it, um, and I find that down here, zoom, zoom. Well, let me just zoom in. The zoom is not as good as I'd like it to be. Okay. Let's 
gonna give me a little click here. And I zoom in. And right here, you probably can't see it on the video, but it says 182927. And right here it says negative 1.58841. So I just took a really sort of difficult thing that it would be really difficult for you to factor that or use quadratic equation on that or, you know, do something. But using calculus, you just take the derivative of the quadratic function set it equal to zero, gives you your x-coordinate, you get your y-coordinate from there, there you got your vertex of your problem, parabola, and because the x-squared term is negative, we know that it opens down. That's that video.